Hello, welcome to another episode of Cut It Open. Today on the show, we've got a remote controlled servo motor. So for those of you who don't know what an RC servo does, when you move the joystick of your controller, it will in turn move the wheels of your remote control car. So if you take a closer look here, this is the servo down here. And when I turn the steering wheel, it moves the servo from side to side. And that's what turns your wheel. Now on some remote control cars, servos are also used to control your throttle and your brake. Like on this one. So now that we know how they function, let's cut this open and see what we got. Okay, so we've cut the bottom off it. Seems to be some sort of motor in there. Okay, now the top's coming off. So there are the four screws on there. Oh, we've got some gears inside. And we've got some gears on here too. So now we've got the top off, you can see that the motor here, which is connected to this pin, will spin at a high rate. Now when you go to turn the wheels of your car, it turns at a real slow rate with a lot of torque. Now the way they do that is gear reduction. They add all these gears with the little teeth on it. So by the time it gets to your servo at the top here with your connecting rod, it's very slow turning rate. So it looks like this one has four gears inside of it. Now, another thing as well is, this here, that's a stopping pin. So that when you turn your steering wheel, this actually stops and doesn't go any further. Well, there it is. When you turn your controller and you get that low torquey movement out of your wheels, it's actually done by a high speed spinning motor, slowed down by gear reduction. Now, this comes with plastic cogs, and I do believe you can get dearer ones that have metal gears and ball bearings, but this is just a cheap one. So, I hope that answered any questions you guys had as to what was inside an RC servo. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.